Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Qt list widget in Qt. So let's get started. What I have done is I have created a blank project and I'm going to go to my main window.ui file. And in here, I'm going to search for uh, list widget, right? So just uh, write list here and there will be two widget which will appear here. One is list view and other is list widget. Now list view is a model based widget and uh, it can be used with a model view uh, architecture which is an advanced topic so we are going to see it in the later videos right. We are right now interested in list widgets so just uh, use this list, list widget right. So drag and drop this list widget in your uh, main window. And if you want, you can apply some, uh, you know, layout on it. So you can just uh, right click here and then uh, you can uh, go to layouts and apply the layouts, right? So I'm going to right click layouts and let's say I'm going to apply this uh, vertical layout here. So layout vertically, okay? And maybe I will also use a push button here. So just search for push button and drag and drop here, okay? Now I'm going to go to my uh, edit view here and go to my main window.cpp file and in here first of all we will see how we can add uh, item to the list widget. So just write UI and search for the list widget and then it takes uh, an argument which is uh, add item as we have seen in the combo box right. But uh, if you see here it takes a uh, instance or object of queue list widget item right so this is a class uh, uh, you know virtually you are passing a class object here okay it's a expect a class object pointer here so uh, the procedure uh, will be the same uh, as we have seen in the case of combo box it can take uh, an item for example the name mark something like this and we can uh, repeat this multiple times and we can say John and some other name for example right and then uh, just save your code and uh, compile it and uh, let's see what happens when we uh, you know run our code so you can see uh, these names are populated in the list widget okay so this is simple very simple now, for example, I want to show some icons on the list widget. It's a little bit different from the combo box as we have seen in the last video. So let's add some resources for uh, the icons first, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click on my project and I will add a new uh, resource file. So QT resource file choose and name of the resource location. So for example, resource itself, right? and then click next and click finish and in here i'm going to add a prefix first for example rec and then i will add files so i already have this folder in my project folder you can just copy and paste and then i will choose these images and paste it here right uh, now i will go to main window.cpb file and this time, uh, instead of uh, giving uh, this Q uh, icon as a first argument, this uh, in the list widget, this is a little bit different. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to declare a Q list widget object. So just write Q list widget item. So just write list widget item. And let's say it's item. And let's initiate it with a new list widget item. So just write new Q list widget item. And then the constructor takes few argument. First is the icon itself. So you can now uh, pass the icon. So just write Q uh, icon like this and the location of your icon. So the location of my icon here is so I want to save it first everything so I will be able to see uh, this QRC file 
so let me check if my resource files are there so I'm going to open it with resource editor save all and I have these things you can see here so I will just copy uh, this path using this option which says copy path and go to main window and then paste it here right and then uh, the name so name uh, for example mark something like this okay and then I can pass this item here as add item right and in the same way I can uh, do it multiple times so something like this item uh, 2 item uh, 3 and the name will change here so I will just change the name and maybe I will also change the path so the path here will be different for the icon and also path for uh, the third item will be the third image okay and I will uh, pass these uh, items here so here and here everything is good so let's run our code and let's see what happens uh, when we run the code and it shows us error because I forget to declare it as pointers right so just do it as pointers and run your app again and let's see what happens this time so now you can see uh, the items are populated with the you know icons right now in the next step let's see how we can uh, do some stuff with this uh, list widget so I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and uh, I'm going to choose my push button and in here I'm going to go to slot and then clicked ok and in here for example first of all I want to just display whatever is there in the uh, list box so whatever I select in the list box I want to display it so I will include uh, for example first of all a queue message box so just write queue message box and then we can uh, just use it so queue message box and then the information we want to show the information and then uh, by now you will be pro in using I think queue message box so the title is the second and then the third is the current item for example right so what we can do here so we can uh, just use uh, this Q UI list widget and then you can uh, just use the current item so let's put here first of all comma and then use a current list item so just use current item which will give us the pointer for the item right so just write current item and then we can just ask for the text so just print text like this okay so let's run our code and let's see if it gives or returns or print current item text on the message box or not so I will choose mark and then press this button and it shows mark or this other name and it will show the other name right so simple now for example you want to do something more with your uh, item so I will comment this code for now and what I will do is for example I will just write UI and then call a list widget and then uh, using a current item it will give us the pointer to the current item so just call current item and then for example you can do so many things with it for example you want to set uh, background color you can just use uh, set background color and then uh, you can uh, just say QT for example QT like this and then uh, red for example something like this okay and let's see if it builds or not or I need to do something else maybe so it builds so let's run the code and for example I choose uh, this and press the push button so the background is set to red right now let's uh, set the foreground to something else so you can uh, play with these things and uh, you know do anything you want so for example set foreground which will uh, set the color of the foreground and let's say it will be for example white okay let's run the code and let's see what happens this time and I will choose this option 
and you can see the foreground or the text is white and the background is red right so you can play with uh, these values and uh, see what you can uh, do with uh, this list widget you can also populate uh, this uh, list widget using a for loop as i have shown you in the last video for the combo box uh, and i think you are intelligent enough to you know do this so i'm not going to show you so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for